let's go ahead and get started. Hello, hello. All right, so Buffer, you have your social media passwords and you have your laptop, except for Tracy because she's already all set up and everything. Do, if you want to go get it, that's great. If not, that's okay. So. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go to buffer.com and this is going to be interactive. So um, as we... Uh, as we work through this, like, feel free to interrupt and chit chat. We're well, not chit chat. Ask real questions according to Buffer. <laughs> okay, so this is a platform, Buffer.com. It is a platform for uh, for scheduling out your posts. You get ten posts per channel per month, so that's thirty posts that you can set and forget about it. How's it working for you, Tracy? Awesome. It's good stuff. 10 posts per channel per month. You can connect three channels for free. And honestly, you don't even, anytime Buffer asks you to pay for something, like you don't, you don't need it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much like any company that comes you know, to you saying, hey, seven day free trial, 14 day free trial, you know, uh, come ask us on staff because more than likely we can handle it on, on uh, in-house. So anytime somebody's like, hey, try it out for 30 days, they want your credit card number. No. All right, everybody on buffer.com? Mm -hmm. Okay, the very top it says get started. Okay, gonna use your Century 21 email to get logged in. You're gonna set an email and password. Yep, sign up. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, use your Century 21 email to get started. Show me your screen. No, that's a completely different platform. Yeah. Oh, because you clicked on, um, oh, it says, let's get your account set up. Is that what it says at the top? Um, let me see. Oh, because we have to put in your email right there. That's okay. So put in your Century 21 email right there and then create a password. Then once you've created a password, write it down because I can't memorize everybody's password. <laughs> <laughs> I can't memorize everybody's passwords, phone numbers, and email addresses. I try, but I no. So. Right. <laughs> No, I cannot memorize everybody's. <laughs> uh oh. Should be at c21connectrealty.com. No, you remember your password. I'm not going to. <laughs> All right, everybody there? Okay. Got your email and password in there. Um, hit 
next. And then it's going to start to ask you to connect your channels. You need your Facebook business page, your Instagram creator account, and your LinkedIn profile. Connect channel. So I recommend starting off with Facebook and getting signed into your business account. It'll uh, it'll make you click through the prompts to get signed up. Mm -hmm. so that's $100, $100, $100. Yeah. Just X out of it, top right corner. Connected channel, yep. And then go to your Instagram. Once you've gotten your business Facebook page on there, then go to your your Instagram. It's going to ask you to log in with Facebook because your Facebook and your Instagram need to be connected. Is it sitting there buffering? <laughs> <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> such a dad. I know, I know. I'm I'm such a dad joker. When I was in college, my uh, geology professor always carried around a piece of rope in his pocket, and he would never say no. He would say, "Afraid not." That's <laughs> <laughs> I did too. All right. What screens are you looking at now? Okay. LinkedIn, you don't need a business profile for, for your business. You just need your own, your own profile. That's all you need on Instagram. The business pages are more for like, for the office itself here. So, but you should have just your own profile. You don't need a business page. What's your screening look, look like? She's got 500 videos and she posts all the time. <laughs> That's where I'm trying to get her to. Wow. <laughs> right? Well, and that's what your customers are thinking too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this will post your content. It will not create the content for you. Yes, <laughs> you right. You have to create one post, and then you can get it scheduled in your Facebook business page, your Instagram, and your LinkedIn to be posted. So, with those ten posts per channel per month, I suggest doing setting up your your four different weeks, where it's like week one you have. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then the next week, Tuesday, Thursday, and the next week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So you kind of offset them like that. And then you get, or if you want to do Tuesday, Thursday, one week, and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the next. That's how you can use the, uh, the 10 posts per channel per month and not get everything blasted out, you know, in week one. And th then you're like, hey, I have all of these posts that I need to get posted, but I'm out of credits on my buffer account. So space it out. This is mainly for posting your videos 
uh, your, like your long form videos and your posts. It can do reels and it can do shorts or stories, uh, sorry, stories. You're not connecting your YouTube channel to this. You can, but I want your Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn on there. It will, um, um, forgot where I was going with it. <laughs> what happened? Okay, getting logged back in. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and skip it for now and jump over to LinkedIn. So only three of them for free. Mm -hmm. Three channels for free, correct. Hey, I don't want you paying for anything. Don't do it. Don't even think about it. I will get you. <laughs> Correct. You're uh, not going to be able to sign up. Well, yes, you are going to be able to put your Century 21 email in there, but your LinkedIn should be your personal profile or okay. your personal email address. That's the way mine is set up. That's the way almost everybody is okay. set up. I just want to make sure I get Yep, so you log in with the email for your LinkedIn account. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's easy. Instagram is being temperamental. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it'll do that. It'll do that sometimes. That was that was very specific. everybody connected on those three channels? No? Not Instagram still? Are you, you, cause you have your Facebook and Instagram connected, right? Okay. No, it is. Cause every time I do it, uh, you know, it's not right. Okay. Well, go ahead and skip Instagram for now. Um, something's going on with, uh, either buffer or Instagram or both. Yeah. So, but I can show you the basics within buffer now that you're all logged in. So whenever you click on the top right corner, top left corner, you click on buffer, that's going to take you to your main page. It's going to show you a calendar. That calendar, if you were to click on any of those boxes, you can schedule a post for all three channels at the exact same time. Whenever you just click on that box, it'll schedule at exactly two o'clock. Do you want to edit the time? It says edit down at the bottom. You can edit the time. Say you want it to be, I suggest weird times like 2.03 or 1.57 or uh, one twenty one. So you can pick out times like that for each of your channels. Um, so it looks more real because if you post something at exactly one o'clock every time and exactly one fifteen every time and exactly one thirty, like do humans actually post at exactly the same time or exactly one fifteen? Sure, sometimes, but not all the time. So I suggest picking out you know weird times like that. Post at one twenty eight p.m. What to? I'm getting to that. Okay. okay, so it's not, um, I can't give you your times. Buffer actually gives you analytics to tell you when the best time is for you to post according to your engagement on that page. So my times are going to look very different from yours. 
your times are going to look very different from his. Mine might say 9.46 a.m. for LinkedIn and 5.52 p.m. for LinkedIn, but it tells me on Instagram, hey, I need you to post at 10.11 a.m. and 12.02 p.m. It will give you the time slots. So if you look over on the left-hand side, you'll see your Facebook and you'll see your LinkedIn because Instagram's not connected yet. Mm -hmm. Click on Facebook. This gives you your calendar for that one page. You notice it gives you some weird times on there, right? Mm -hmm. what, are, what are your times, Betsy? So those are the two times that it is saying Facebook has the most engagement on your page based on your audience. Mm -hmm. Clyde, what does yours say? Um, where do I It'll be it'll be on the left hand side. Click on Facebook. Where are you at? Add a post. Almost everybody there. Click on your Facebook. That's what you want. There you go. Okay, you got it now. Yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah. Okay, so there, your what are your times that say for Facebook? Fifteen. I'm sorry, 8.23 a.m. and 4.18 p.m. Okay, those are your best times to be posting. If you click on one of those boxes, you can schedule a post to go on Facebook for that exact time. You can schedule it for that time to get the most engagement. So it's looking at your analytics and it's saying, hey, you know what, on Betsy's page, she gets the most number of likes and most number of comments and the most number of shares at that time. Betsy, you need to post at 4.18 p.m. or what What time was it? 3.48. Mm -hmm. Jake, what are your times? 10.16 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yep. So everybody's numbers look very different. But it's your analytics, which is pretty cool. So I suggest... One week doing Tuesday, Thursday for your post for Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, and uh, in the next week, do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So you have two posts and then three posts and then two posts and then three posts. And that'll be a total of 10 for the month. Move the days around? If I I don't think people are going to be paying that much attention. Okay. Yeah. I would just do it alternating weeks. Okay. Um, for Instagram, once you, once Instagram is not being temperamental anymore, it'll give you four times a day. Now, if you're posting to Instagram four times a day, you're going to run out of credits very quickly. Mm -hmm. So think of each each post. Yeah. So think of each post as a credit. You get 10 credits per channel per month. How are you going to use those 10 credits? So if you run out of times or you run out of your 10 posts per month per channel, you can still see the times in there, right? So you could go into the meta business suite, which is your Facebook and Instagram together and schedule out times that Buffer gives you from your analytics. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So if yours was at what, 3.46 PM? So at 3.48, you can go into the Meta Business Suite 
from Facebook and Instagram, and you can schedule a post at that time. And then there's no limit. But Meta Business Week does not, doesn't really give you analytics like that. It doesn't tell you post it exactly this time, whereas Buffer does. So you can use the free information from Buffer, take that over into the Meta Business Suite and schedule your Facebook and Instagram posts according to those times. So here's the kicker. You have to come up with the content to post in there. That's going to be your kicker. Where do you get content? Okay. Where do you get it? Where do you get that information? Okay. Betsy, where did you get your list of 10 from? Uh huh. <laughs> My workplace challenges. So right now we're while we're doing everything with Max, I've kind of taken a step back on doing those. But you can type my name in into workplace. Type in Selena challenge, and it's going to pull up with almost a year and a half worth of daily social media challenges. Pick out ten that you want to do. There's your ten posts for the month. So you can do that from workplace. I've got an entire library of different posts. Pick out the ten that you want to do. And those will be your posts for the next month. Now that you've gotten your postings out and scheduled for the entire month, so you could sit there one Monday morning and plug everything in and not have to think about it. So if you get to a Tuesday and you're like, oh gosh, I didn't have anything to post today, Buffer's got you back because you've already set that up. You don't have to think about it. It's running on its own for a month. Now you do have to keep up with it every month though and schedule things out. But um, it's a really great tool to have some some posts happening in the background in case, I mean, Mike talks about it all the time. There's only one thing that you're ever in control of every single day. Do you know what it is? What time you wake up in the morning. After that, you don't know what the day is gonna bring you. So from there, using that as, you know, in the back of our minds, you can wake up on a Tuesday and um, you will have had something scheduled for that day. And you get throughout the day and you're like, oh gosh, I didn't do my social media post for today. It's got, it's running the background for you. So you have something to post. Now you've freed up the other 29 days in your month. Use that time to work on your videos and your reels for social media. So get your 10 posts scheduled for the month, then use the rest of your time to focus on your, your videos and your reels. Does it make sense? They, they can be as well. Mm -hmm. So you can use that time that you would have been thinking like, oh gosh, I need to get something posted today. So if you just sit there one morning, Monday morning and type everything out, get everything scheduled out for the entire month, you can then use that time the next day while it's already running and you don't have to think about it. You can use that social media time or that uh, marketing time for other activities that you want to get done. Does that make sense? What else you got? So if I want to still post on the other platforms, mm -hmm. right? you know, the Twitters and the YouTube, those mm -hmm. things, do I need to open another form or get 30 more? Potentially. How many accounts do you want to manage? <laughs> but I still need to connect to my own channel. Yeah. No, you can connect your YouTube, you can connect Twitter, you can connect, um, uh, gosh, you can connect almost everything to it. So, um, I would say I'm Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, LinkedIn right now. on one account. Mm -hmm. right, so if I open up another mm -hmm. proper account, I can do You could put your YouTube, your Twitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could do that with the different email address. Person. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, use a different email address. 
Yeah. If you want to manage that many buffer accounts. So mm -hmm. So that's that's buffer. You're welcome. No? Dig in, play with it. Dig in and play with it. You literally click on the plus button or click on that time. It uh, has a screen that pops up. You put in your picture, you put in your description, your, your wording that you want. You schedule out the time, you know, whether it's, you know, you clicked on your analytics button where it gave you that, gave you that 3.48 PM or within the calendar, you can pick a time and um, it kind of walks you through the steps. For Instagram, you have to, have to, have to have a picture. For Facebook and LinkedIn, you do not have to have a picture in your post. But Instagram, you have to have a picture or a video. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, if you do that too much, you look like an infomercial and nobody pays attention. <laughs> if you post a graph, yeah, if you do it like maybe once a month, if once that, a <laughs> once a quarter would be better. <laughs> yeah. By the way, nobody reads your market update pictures. Your market update graph graphic, nobody reads it. Nobody pays attention to it. Take that information and make it matter to your target audience. Why should senior citizens, you know, be concerned about um, the number of homes uh, dropping in inventory? Just for example, I'm not saying it is, but, you know, say inventory is holding at two and a half months and there are no homes coming up on the market and that number is going down with the number of homes on the inventory because no new new homes are being added to it. Why should senior citizens be concerned about that? You tell me. You're their credible expert. I'm not an expert in senior citizens. Mm -hmm. So, but that's an example. Like, why should those map those numbers matter to your audience? Mm -hmm. Right. Anything else? You got homework to do. Yeah. All right. Let's get to work. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>